Hello, welcome back to VS Live. Today I will be doing um, improvisations uh, using Blender, uh, Grease Pencil, and also later on I will be using Kushiro Ballpen uh, add-on. But yeah, basically the idea is to create um, some kind of monkey alien character. So we know how monkey looks like, and so we have certain uh, idea. And I'll do. I'll be doing like some kind of freestyle three D modeling. I don't know what it's called. But I'll start just creating blank grease pencil. So we know that with grease pencil, you can uh, quickly and easily draw anything, right? Just random, random sketch. It's very, very quick. Uh, you can kind of start making like a concept drawing of how your character is gonna be like. So in this case, okay, the idea is to make some kind of a alien monkey creature. Um, or monster let's keep it like maybe alien monkey it's a biped uh, it can be anything we, we don't know what's the shape uh, but the monkey usually have big ears and the face we don't know how it's gonna look like I don't know if you wanna add antenna maybe we don't need that maybe it's looking a little bit like ED or I think lots of movies we have already as reference uh, and inspirations but yeah monkey monkey is monkey normally you have legs and you have the body like maybe the hip and the, the chest just a random scribble like this right it looks a little bit like Suzanne however we can start adding mirror because with the mirror suddenly our imaginations is running pretty wild and you can start adding things like eyes or maybe I don't know mouth area we can be a little bit crazy yeah? um, so by default of course with grease pencil you your drawing is um, I believe based on the origin you can change it to 3d cursor that's a little bit more advanced but anyway just doodling and of course your grease pencil is flat right so but you can sort of make like a form because we will be using the Kushiro Balpoin add-on and so you can start uh, making the form because you, you will fill all these lines with uh, actual mass so so we don't we don't know the body shapes, but I think the the minimum requirement is to just draw it from the side and the front view. Just try to get it right. And then maybe you should add a tail. We could actually make use of the grease pencil and 3D cursor actually to make it more precise. Can draw it from the top but I think if we draw it from the top it's it's also gonna draw it on the origin so it's a bit messy at the moment just uh, just apply the modifier and now uh, we're just gonna bring it up control a uh, with this guy to if, if it's if the stroke is too dense then maybe we don't need that much we can always resemble, simplify our lines. We don't need that many resolutions. Okay, now we can right click. Okay, uh, select the grease pencil and I believe we can convert it to path or polygon curve. Doesn't matter. You can try polygon curve. Now we have our grease pencil, we can hide the original one. And we have GP layer geometry that we can extrude. And we can add depth. So we have some kind of wireframe to work with. Uh, we can add resolutions if we want. From here, However, let's save this first. This is a multi-alien. You can right click, 
again convert to mesh and now we have mesh uh, we can play around with the displacement if you want we can sort of get something better and we can remesh it and still our objects is pretty plain maybe keep some of the details we can even use adaptive and smooth sharing maybe we get with too much of the resolution there because originally our design is more complex I have feeling that maybe we can also convert this once again to path and then from here we're just gonna add bevel, extrude, dev so I want that detail okay right click convert to mesh so we have two mesh now we can join them together command J and then do another remesh so blender is pretty fast and we have this new mesh and we can work from here Okay, command A, apply the remesh. Now we have something that's a little bit dense. But here, I'm gonna go to edit mode and start to work with the ball pen. So the performance should be fast enough. I mean, normally it's faster, maybe because whenever I'm doing recording, it seems to be a bit slower and when we're drawing we can actually use hold shift and then draw a bigger radius and start to fill up the volume especially around the, the body area and around this face you can switch to the the other brush the box brush this can fill up the volume faster I like the, the radius brush while holding control gives better control when because we are adding volume to our character and things like leg we can do layering multiple times to get just the right shape bit like a uh, again like making cookies making death and layering from the tail of course it's an alien monkey so I think Maybe just go with larger brush. Spending this area. Try to make the volume. Oh, 
around the arm. Okay. You can use this trick. Make it smaller. So start big and make it smaller. This alien can have three fingers. Yeah, we probably lost a lot of information on the face, but that's something that you can add again with the grease pencil later. Once you have the form, so you have more ideas how it's going to look like. At this point, you can do displacement and mirror. and remesh so with remesh, I mean the result may be a little bit messy, right? but you can always, you know, select all invert it just delete the rest. Now we have shape more or less of our alien monkey. Go back to edit mode, ball pen, and keep adding volume. This is the back of the monkey. Okay, this seems to be happy to have this kind of wing. So maybe we can we can draw some kind of wing. Horn. character have uh, this kind of carrot looking finger but this is like a you know like a free form kind of creations and switch back to radius You can always switch to Blender Sculpt at any time to shape our character faster sometimes. So the form is faster to uh, to shape once you get more details. Like object mode. You can remesh. You can mirror and remesh. Turn on by take and flip it. Okay. All right. So you can start reshaping because normally when you're draw drawing it flat, it still looks more or less flat. So you probably want to use things like grab. and we shape your character a little bit better you don't want to lose the, the, the ears you 
we don't have any kind of details like the eyes or the mouth yet. And we can always scrub that in. If it's a monkey, it's, it needs to have tails. Forgot to add tails. You can always smooth it, but I don't, I don't want to smooth or losing any details for now. So we have room for tails. We need to fill up some of the volume there. Maybe also started to reshape the leg. Side view. design choice part is a bit too thin, you can inflate them, yeah, actually you can always inflate areas with that volume and just quickly do another remesh, remesh inside scalp is actually faster, if you don't want to mean this here, this remesh. to be and start sculpting proper details the hands out of whack it's okay it's a monster maybe it's we need more room for the arm Stopping. Stopping is a uh, totally interesting in a way that I mean you can easily ruin the form. If not careful. I think sculpting is really good to add details. But I prefer things like using the, the ball. You know, maybe you can get rid of everything again. Maybe not too much. Look at it. Look at our original use pencil, and maybe we can kind of project it into our mesh just to get the details. Hmm.
but I guess that's pretty much seems like okay that we got too much resolution now we probably want to finish this a little bit better and continue with our ball pen Totally does the one to list the ear. And maybe just make the tail. One stroke and then place it properly. And we are good. Tap Q, go back to object mode, mirror, turn on bisect, remesh. and we can continue you know like sculpting but we, we start to get the form of our character <laughs> it looks pretty evil looking sculpt a little bit maybe I don't have enough detail here yeah it's just multi resolutions. Subdivide it. And sculpt. So the monkey. The nose and the mouth. Just follow your instinct. Sometimes talking about how things, some things can look aesthetic and beautiful, and but you don't 
I'll get you don't always get that uh, quite easily I mean to make something that looks beautiful and even though it's a uh, uh, things like insects insects is for some people in insects doesn't look beautiful but actually actually insects is really beautiful in terms of design so I think beautiful objects or creatures takes time to, to think about sometimes simple like simple character you know like a cute character might be easier to create but they are not takes time to design a character like a uh, Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh or you know like Pokemon, Pikachu for now it's just it's pretty random creations can do this all day Shaving it. I don't know what this looks like. Gremlins? Maybe it's a gremlin. Monkey, maybe a smaller mouth. Maybe not. I think the arm, the hands can have a bit of work. This looks like a carrot. Sausage fingers. Yeah, it's okay. It's a monster. It's an alien. The tail looks funny. You can use things like scrap or multi scrap scrap. You know. The side view doesn't look great yet. Like my character like that. A bit of space for the eyeballs. So it's kind of like a mix of monkey and a bat and some kind of creature with a horn. Gremlins. Maybe there's some kind of mutations causing them to blend all these creatures to blend into one. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave it here. I mean a good idea, I think it's a. The idea is to use grease pencil to quickly sketch out, you know, like wireframe and then adding a volume using balls add on and then sculpt it and sculpt it and remash it again, over and over until we get a form that's convincing. And you start to get that idea how it's going to look like yeah, I guess I'll leave it some other time but you know it's, it's it's a monster it's got a horn it's got a monkey shaped head it's got a weird alien hands it's got a tail it's got a wing it's got everything I mean it's a good idea to keep it simple and in fact 
in fact even before before you scribble with grid pencil probably it's a good idea to sketch out uh, in 2D you know like sketch your character how it looks like the volume the more you get to the shape faster you know to make the form and blocking your character the faster you're gonna get to here and starting adding starting to add details I don't know yeah Right, so hopefully this is interesting for you. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.